the focal point of this webinar is we're going to talk about a specific technology that's called South Sphere is very tall. Is this is a technology to allow you, the formulator, to produce effective skincare products which are naturally based. So um, that's our focus. Our goal is to enable you, the formulator, to produce product based on South Sphere is very tall. And for that purpose, we will demonstrate you how to use the technologies and how to formulate product. Practically, we want to show you how simple and easy it is, only if you know the value. So by the end of the video now, I'm sure everybody will be a perfect formulator for that purpose uh, at all. Now, what is the program? First of all, I will review briefly what is South Sphere Reservoir Tool for those that have not been in the previous webinar. I definitely recommend you to review the previous webinar on polyphenol reservoir tool because this will enable you to explain it to your customers and to your colleagues in a better way, more intelligent way based on scientific data. And that's our focus here, to show you scientific data, data that has been published, peer reviewed by general scientific magazines and not by trade magazines only. So uh, we really try to stay true to the science behind. Then we will show you four different formulations. That's why I'm going to do that pretty fast because we want to put everything into less than an hour. Uh, the beautiful thing is it's recorded. You can go back and watch it again, watch it again, and you can get it so you can share it with others. Okay, the first product we're going to show you is a cream cleanser. Please remember or write down the number of the product. You can refer to this when you communicate with us. Uh, so if you need, for example, questions about the formula or you want other advice, let's know the number. Number two is the anti-blemish and anti-aging lotion. Uh, both functionalities are in one lotion. Number three is a toning and refreshing serum. This is kind of a, con everywhere, every product is showing a new concept uh, that's not so uh, common in the commercial market. And the fourth one is anti-aging mask. And I really recommend you to stay awake until the end. So you see how wonderful it is. So these are the four, let's start. So what is was very well briefly is a polyphenol. It's present in skin and seeds of more than 70 different plant, plant, plant uh, species, including grapes, seed, grape or skin, and berries, and so, and so, and so. The structure is di uh, two phenols are connected, and this is one of the smallest polyphenol. And the question will be, why should you use resveratrol at all? There are so many botanicals, and people are decorating the product with different types of botanical. This is not a decorative botanical. This is a very strong functional material. Okay, here is a few of the major benefits. A very strong anti-aging, and it's known to extend life of cells. Multiple, multiple reports are showing this ability. It's able to protect the skin from the environmental damage, from radiation, sun, pollution, chemicals, and so on. So it's a protective material. Then it's able to reverse the processes involved with aging. And I detailed and gave a lot of data last webinar. It's able to rejuvenate cells. In other words, people take aged cells that are not able to divide expose them to potent resveratrol and the cells are going backward in age. They are now able to divide and function like young cells. It reduces fine lines and wrinkles. This is what you see up front. Brighten and balance uneven skin. Now you see that these are uh, the claims that we put together for consumers. But you as a chemist, as a formulator, uh, we want you to know more. That's why we're talking about the mechanism. How does it work? So the basic uh, mechanism that it works is 
resveratrol is a very strong antioxidant, hundreds times stronger than vitamin C. Okay, vitamin C causing a lot of stability problem. Resveratrol as well. Also, what does it do? It's under-regulate protective enzyme activity. In other words, it accelerates the synthesis of enzymes that support us, to protect us from free radicals, such as catalase, uh, glutathione peroxide, SDO, and so on. And at the same time, it inhibits the production of inflammatory enzymes. So it's able to reduce the inflammation and this activity happens on the DNA level. So you see some activities happening on the surface of the skin and others are able to actually protect us on the DNA level. Of course, we don't claim it in the cosmetic business, but you should know all about this. Another aspect that we don't talk in the cosmetic business, but you should know, it extends the telomeres. Telomeres are sequence. Uh, at the end of the chromosome, and every time the cell divides, these telomeres become, the sequence becomes shorter and shorter, up to the point that the cell is not able to reproduce itself. And what resveratrol is able to do is reverse it, start to grow it, so cells are able to rejuvenate and uh, divide. So this is the mechanism by which resveratrol is working. Now, let's go to the practical uh, approach. Now we, we know every theor the theory behind resveratrol and the practicality of this. So you see resveratrol is available in natural form as a powder. And the powder is available in two isomers, trans and cis. The most effective form is the trans. So one, you want to start to use resveratrol, you should look at the trans isomer, which is more biologically active. Resveritrol is able in as a powder, and the powder could come in different colors. Of course, there is a different activity based on the color. So one needs to qualify the activity so you get the best performing product. All of them commonly are insoluble in water. You put them in the water, they will precipitate. Okay, you don't have enough power to suspend it because the ability to precipitate is so strong. It's soluble in fat, polyethylene glycol 400, and it's also soluble to a certain extent in alcohol. But of course, we don't want to use alcohol on the skin, so we have this major problem, color, solubility, and degradation. What is the uh, solution for us? Uh, but before we go to solution, if you still uh, want to try it, you can try it. Put it in water, in a suspension even. You may not see the particles in the bottom, but you will definitely see discoloration. So this is what's happening after a week. And as you wait longer, it will be darker and darker and darker. And this is for anything between 1% to 5%. Of course, if you put nothing, you get nothing. Okay, so what is the solution? The solution from our point of view is encapsulating it, protecting it from the environment. For that purpose, we have cell sphere technology, which enables to use it in a water-based formulation. What is cell sphere? It's a tiny sphere, about 0.1 to 0.3 microns. So it's not a nanotechnology, it's a submicron technology. The core is hydrophobic and the shell is hydrophilic and the resveratrol is encapsulated inside the core. That can be easily suspended and used in the formula. What do we know about this? Two things. Number one, besides its stability, it stay on the skin for longer. So it's allowed for time release. It's not a product that will get oxidized when you put it on the skin immediately. It will take time until it's penetrated so the level of resveratrol stays longer, and this is the condition for time release and the condition for the skin to give the skin enough time to absorb it and start the biological processes. Biological processes are involved in anti-aging. When you use it for marine self, it's able to stick. The technology enables it to stick to the skin. How much? Seven times more than the free resveratrol. 
the free will is very full. If you are able to solubilize it like alcohol, then it will be easily washed off because there is no mechanism to contribute to the adhesion onto the skin. And you understand, you cannot get effect unless you have adhesion and time release because this is not a physical process that happens in milliseconds, like uh, immediate um, hydration, which passed after 10 minutes. This is a biological process and it needs contact time. So contact time is the key to our business. So why you want to use salts free resveratrol? Let's summarize this, because it's a stable and potent form polyphenol of trans polyphenol, the more biological effective version. Then it's formulation ready. You make your base as you will see in the demonstration coming up, and then you can add it typically at the end. You can add it either to rinse off and leave on, and I will show you both version in minutes. Then it's very effective because it's able to adhere, time release, slowly release, and give enough contact time so the all rivers virtual can be transferred from the product into the skin and mainly to the deep layers of the skin. It's very skin friendly. We have different versions of South Spheres Veritual. Some of them are 100% natural and others are less than 100%. Now we understand all this, we can go to the formulation. So as I said, we have four formulations and I will go by the order that we would use them on the skin. So the first example is an anti-aging cream cleanser. So just the name rings a bell, it's a cream cleanser, which means it's able to cleanse the skin, but it's very luxury in terms of the performance. So it gives a nice form and at the end it's moisturizing the skin as well as delivering the anti-aging benefits. So this cleanser is formulated with hydrating and other functional ingredients in order to nourish the skin and leave it feel soft, healthy, and clean. Now, we use here two technologies as I will demonstrate in all this product coming up. Both, the te both technologies in this case is Salsphere Resveritrol and Salsphere Aqua Skin. Aqua skin, we didn't talk about this in the previous yet, um, because this is a technology that mainly focus on hydration. Hydration, moisturization of the skin. So we combine these two to give the anti-aging effect and as well as the hydration into a wash, a wash that is effective enough to reduce the makeup and other impurities on the skin. Okay, so because of this efficacy, we can move on and show you how we do it. This formula is coming for us from Alpha Tech Science in Bangkok. And it's genius because it's simple. You see that this is the formula by itself in, with the different phases. You see phase A, B, and C. And, uh, and I'm not sure that you can memorize it, just looking it. So what is the logic of the formula? Um, is coming up front. So we have one vessel. In this vessel, we use the water phase. In the water phase, we add everything to do with the cleansing, the surfactant, SLS, for example, but you can use alternative to SLS. You don't have to use SLS. You can use a more milder wash. It's up to you now. So you have degrees of flexibility within this formula. We just show you the principle and you make it for yourself and you make it in your own style and your own requirement. So this is the water phase, everything goes into the water phase. Then we have the technology added. The first one is B, Salsphere is very tall. When it's all mixed well, then we add aqua skin. Now watch this. So you see um, the process is moving pretty fast. Um, and it takes a few minutes until it's become clear. And that's practically it. And then you add the resveritrol and the uh, other materials, the aqua skin, okay? And the cream, it's a very creamy product. Um, and I can show you. Uh, you see now on the video, this is a creamy product. You put it on your skin 
and it's produced very nice form, very nice form, and as well as give you the solution. Of course, you can watch it again slowly, uh, but I feel like uh, we, are, we are have to move on. So this is the basic product. It's a cream cleanser. You saw the formula. The beautiful thing is about this, it's creamy in appearance, but forms like a luxury wash. So it combines the sensation of luxury in terms of soft, full cream, and also a wash. It's, it's definitely contained with powerful antioxidants, the, the resveratrol, and it's protect the skin from possible damage of free radicals, of course, from sun. It improves the uh, fine lines and skin texture. It evens up the tone, okay? This is one way to say it. Other way to say it, it brightens the skin and it helps to reduce hyperpigmentation. They're all basically saying the same, so you can choose the words that best fit your product. It's uh, ultra hydrating and luxurious, definitely in terms of appearance, and it's produced high density leather. This is the uh, sensory benefit of this type of product. Uh, it forms evenly to cover every contour of the skin surface to remove dirt and excess oil without stripping. And again, I mentioned you can use different type of surfactant. You don't have to use SLS. You can make it gentle to the skin. So this is our first technology. And now we move to the second one. Uh, Anti-blemish and anti-aging lotion. So this is a lotion where the purpose is to preserve younger looking skin for adult, but not only adult, could be young adult, uh, that battling skin break out. So it's not anti-acne, it's anti-blemish and fine lines. So it's trying to address the needs to repair these two issues. Uh, the product is perfect for anyone that sees that he has some fine lines or early signs of blemishes and looking for a solution to clear the skin at the same time improve the firmness and the elasticity. So uh, this is a rich lotion combining very powerful time release with very tall, as well as alpha and beta hydroxyl acid. This is coming from Sphere Clear Skin. So there are two technologies that are addressing two needs. So you see how it works? It works in a modulated way. You make the base and then you decide what do you want this base to be used for? If you want it to be used just anti-aging, you put just resveratrol. If you want just anti-blemish, you use clear skin. If you want to combine, then you use both of them. And here is the basic formula. So you see, we have three different phases, A, B, and C. I, again, you see phase A is typically the water phase. Then we have the oil phase. And then we go into the different technologies. And at the end, we always add the preservative. If I, if I miss the preservative in the first example, I apologize, always need a preservative. And you choose the preservative you want to use. So the process goes like this. You have a vessel A, and this is the water phase, and you fill it up with the water, glycine, and the xanthan gum. You will see immediately how it's being done in actual in the lab. Then you have a separate vessel. So you need to prepare two vessels. The second one, B, is always smaller. This is where the oil phase ingredients in, one after the other. They will blend in, one blend in, then they can go into vessel A. So vessel A is the major vessel. Now, when this is all complete, we can add the functional ingredients. In this case, it's sounds feel clear skin, and sounds feel is very cold. There is no any importance what which one you put first and of course at the end uh, you can put your preservative now let's see brian explaining how he did it in the lab so watch carefully first we pre-mix our xanthan gum and glycerin to wet the polymer so that it becomes soluble in the water as you can see we are heating two vessels right now the larger vessel on the left is our water phase and the one on the right is our oil phase.
Now that we have added our dispersion, the water should begin to thicken. Now we will begin working on our oil phase. Our first ingredient is the Montanoff L. This is C14 to 22 alcohol and C12 to 20 alkyl glucoside. This acts as an emulsifier. Next, we will add the acetyl sterol alcohol. This acts as an emollient in the oil phase. Next, we will add our cocoa glucoside. This will act as an oil phase emulsifier. Next, we will add our squalane. This will act as an emollient in the oil phase and make the final formulation feel nice and light. Our next ingredient is GCAM ININ. And what this is, is isononanoate. This is an emollient and will provide some skin conditioning to the final formulation. Next, we will add our shea butter, which will provide moisturization to the final formulation. And once our oil phase is uniform and up to temperature, we may begin adding it to our water phase. Now that both our oil and water phase are at 70 degrees Celsius, we may begin adding the oil to the water phase. As you can see, a nice white emulsion is formed. As you add the oil, it will thicken the water phase considerably, so increasing the propeller might be necessary. Now that our lotion formulation has cooled to room temperature, we will begin adding our actives and Preservative. Our first active is our Salsphere resveratrol, which is our encapsulated resveratrol. As you can see, it goes in with ease on top of the final formulation. Next, we will add our other technology, our Salsphere Clear Skin. This will provide some brightening and exfoliating power to our final formulation. And lastly, we'll add our preservative, the Lenatural Ultra 3. Now we will mix this until homogeneous, and we have finished our lotion formulation. Here is your Salsphere Resveratrol lotion. As you can see, it is a nice white emulsion. Not too thin, but also not too thick. Great, thank you. And uh, so let's summarize what did we learn now. An anti-aging lotion. It's a rich, creamy, combines alpha and beta hydroxide acid together with uh, resveratrol. So we have both the effect of exfoliation and anti-aging. And the major uh, claims that we can put are the following. It's a uh, aging uh, skin for all ages. So it's not only teenagers, it could be used also for adults that have um, a breakouts from time to time. It can be used for overexposure of sun and I'm not talking about hyperpigmentation, but redness, irritation. You know that resveratrol is anti-inflammatory. So this is a good solution for any type of inflammation. Uh, but we cannot claim anti-inflammatory clearly in a cosmetic product. It's good for hyperpigmentation. It helps to brighten the skin in two ways. Uh, resveratrol by itself and also the exfoliating helps to brighten the skin. It's helped to uh, treat people with loss of firmness, elasticity, fine lines, uh, wrinkles, dark spots, and so on. So this is our lotion. Okay, now we're moving on to toning and revitalizing serum. Um, this formula comes from Bangkok and using two different technology. One of them is a resveratrol, salsphere resveratrol. The other one is hydrosal sal cool. This is a cool product, and it's basically all about sensory benefit to a product. A product is serum that when you put in, you say, wow, this is really different. I met many serums, but all of them feels like water, and I don't immediately see what does it do, or I don't feel, I don't feel the effect of the serum immediately. Okay, it feels some hydration for some times, but then it goes, goes away. Okay, so this is a refresh point. 
okay hit the refresh on your scan skincare routine so this uh, serum is super hydrating anti-aging and fresh all in one so it is brightening the skin reduce the fine lines and lock in antioxidant all in one drop so it's a, a nice and clear serum very quickly absorbing and deeply hydrating uh, the skin and the unique part is it's packed with red wine red wine extract now resveratrol very well can come from different sources here we want to highlight for purpose the red wine extract because of resveratrol well, this kind of resveratrol well came from grape extract so it's a time release and stabilized form of natural resveratrol the emphasis here again is on natural resveratrol and not on any kind of modified resveratrol don't forget our skin cannot recognize molecules that have been modified by somebody's lab the body is recognizing only the natural resveratrol for the purpose that we are interested so we use both the freshing sensation as well as the anti-aging sensation uh, this is a tv program so i cannot share with you the, the cooling but i really encourage you to ask a sample and try it yourself on your skin hydrosal sal cool is a very cool technology here is the formula so again you see the formula is based on phase l the water phase then b is the oil phase and then the c is all the functional ingredients the technologies that we add to the formula we try to simplify it as much as possible so in order to start you need to make up three different vessels vessel a this will contain the water phase ingredients you have to dissolve them first then vessel b will include all the oily base ingredients and then c will contain all the functional ingredients and then you add them in so this is the step and this is the big picture now watch the process so this is phase a um, and you have to mix phase l pretty well it takes some time until it becomes homogeneous then this is phase b in a separate vessel then you add b to a you mix it and you get a very nice consistency of the product this is the technology that you add at the end and you can decide what technology you want to add and you uh, correct the ph to 5.5 with tea so the process is straightforward easy to use you put it on your skin and you say wow this is a different serum i can feel the difference and that's what we wanted to show you how technologies can make a difference um, so it's a toning and revitalizing a serum you see the different packages that you can use and don't forget that the cooling or refreshing is coming from menthol free and alcohol free solution it's a neuro cosmetic approach it's activate the nerves to feel the freshness without evaporation of metal that's why you can use this even around the eyes because there is no evaporation process it works in a different way than what people typically use like menthol there is no menthol in the formula itself uh, okay, possible claims the serum evens the skin tone minimizing redness and age spots that's mostly because of the properties of resveratrol it reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation, age spots, uh, protects the skin from atmospheric pollution, uh, contains natural polyphenols from grape, um, extra help increase the firmness and elasticity. Uh, how exactly, I don't need to say here, but we, I spoke about this in the webinar, in the previous one, it delivers immediate fresh sensation to your skin you say wow when you put it on okay now oh, how much do you need as you see in the formula you need a very small amount i uh, believe it's about 0.5 to 1 percent sometimes even less 
and that's enough to get a sensation without irritation. Uh, just to make you know, we will have a separate webinar on sensory technologies, and this will be one of them. And then I will give more information about the product, how does it work, how much to use, what kind of effect you can get. But right now, it's give a refreshing sensation. Let's move on to our last and most exciting product, which is anti-aging mask. Um, this mask contains two technologies. One of them is sound sphere resveratrol, and the other one is sal color effects, white to pink. You will see in our catalog, we, we have different type of sal color effects, which means these are beads that are able to change the color from white to pink. We have different one. Uh, we show you last time, um, and we have uh, them all listed in our website and you can choose any one you want and you can choose even what size particles you would like. So this is a wash off mask. In other words, you put it on your skin, you wait some time and then you wash it off. So it combines both benefits of a leave on product and a rinse off. So it cleans while treating the skin. So it's contained a time release red wine extract with very well and it's used to brighten and cleanse the skin while delivering the anti-aging benefits. Um, okay, so this is it and uh, instruction on how to use it. You apply it on the skin and uh, I will show you later on. You apply it, you need to rub it gently, kind of, you need to squeeze the fruits to get the active ingredients. Now, the, I, I want to clear, clarify, the active ingredients are not coming from cell color effects. Cell color effects only helps to convey the process and helps to do enough rubbing on the skin to release the other active ingredients. Okay, so the formula. So this is a formula that contains, um, maybe this is the longest formula uh, because it combines functional ingredients as well as elements for wash and for leave on hydrating and treating. Um, I will transfer you to Brian to explain how he made it. First, we pre-mix xanthan gum and glycerin. And what this does is wet the polymer so that it is more soluble in the water. As you can see, we are also heating the water. Once the water is between 65 and 70 degrees Celsius, you may begin to add the rest of the water phase, which is our xanthan gum and zamea dispersion and the clays, as well as a silica polymer. So now that our water is up to temperature, we will add our xanthan gum and glycerin dispersion. This should thicken the water considerably, so you may wish to increase the speed of your propeller. Our next ingredient is kaolin, and with this, as well as the next ingredient, which is the benzonite dew, or help give the final formulation substance and some thickness. As you can see, it turns the water from clear to a very white opaque solution. Once you have added all of these polymers and clays, you should take the propeller off and stir it with a spatula to ensure that there is no clumping because the bentonite and the albigel have a bit of a predisposition to clump together. Next, we will add the bentonite. And what bentonite can help do in this final formulation is to help reduce redness as it has a bit of a green tint to it. Next, we will be adding the gram powder QSC. And what this silicone cross polymer and polymethyl silicesquioxane does is to help reduce the tackiness of the final formulation. It also acts as a water phase thickener.
now that our water phase has been put together and is heating, we will begin to heat our oil phase. The first ingredient is GCAM CTG, which is just capric caprylic triglyceride. So once that warms up a bit, we will begin to add the rest of the oil phase, which is our waxes. Our next ingredient will be the acetyl alcohol. And what this will help do is to add some emollient characteristics to the oil phase. Once that has melted, you may begin to add the rest of the waxes. Our next ingredient is glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. And this is going to be our oil phase emulsifier. Our next ingredient is stearic acid, and this will act as another oil phase emulsifier. Our next ingredient is the Grand Sill SBG11, which is dimethicone and polysilicone 11. Uh, dispersed in shea butter. So this will give our final formulation a nice luxurious feel. Our next ingredient is the SW65U, which is a titanium dioxide dispersion. And this will give our final formulation a whitening effect. Now that our oil phase is completely together and has reached 65 degrees Celsius, and our water phase is also at 65 degrees Celsius, we can begin to add the oil to the water phase. Now that our oil and water phase mixture has cooled down to room temperature, we can begin to add our actives and preservative. First our preservative, the Uxal PE9010 will be added. Next, our encapsulated resveratrol, Southsphere resveratrol, will be added. As you can see, this can be added on top of final formulations with ease. Now that our mask is completely uniform, we will take it off to add the final ingredient by hand. The final ingredient is South Color FX white to pink. The reason we are adding this by hand is that if we mix it with a propeller, we run the risk of breaking that encapsulation and having the pigment run into our mask. This is our style sphere resveratrol mask. As you can see, it is very thick, which is what you want in a mask. As you notice, it is a bit of an off-white color, and we do have the style color effects in there. And the way we activate these sound color effects is by gently rubbing it on the skin. So when you're using the product, you will know that it is working when it has gone from white to pink. Great, thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to share with you um, a sample that I have live with me um, right now. Um, with me. So I do have a sample of um, our mask and I will take a little bit just to demonstrate to you how does it work live on my skin. So I make a line uh, of this mask and I'm trying to rub it uh, so it covers homogeneously all the area. So you can see this area that I'm rubbing I practically what I'm doing in terms of consumer is I'm squeezing the material until I get the different color change. I don't know if you can see the color change, but I will show you in a minute what is the difference between before unrubbed and then rubbed material. So this is the massage that you have to do in order to activate the color formation. I hope you can see the difference between this area as before and this area rubbed. So you do need to rub it in order to activate it. And what's nice about this, at the end of this, you just can wipe it off and you get a very nice, even with the, with the tissue, you just rub it off 
and you can get a very nice effect on the skin without much of the effort hydrating and softening of the skin so you can try it yourself um, with this uh, product as well uh, so this is the uh, product uh, the anti-aging mask and we are back to the slideshow uh, I hope you can see the slideshow again and you see the lady is practically squeezing the grapes on her face and as she does it the juice is coming out but you know in reality that what the juice is is the pigment only the active is there but definitely the rubbing of the mask onto the skin and spread it giving two major benefit one of them you can see what area you covered because you see the color change and the rubbing helps to enhance the penetration into the deeper layers of the skin so there is a benefit of both so the visual effect is very strong to uh and it's also useful for the efficacy of the product so this is our cream as you can see it could be packaged in different forms but this is the simplest form and it's a very simple and low cost mask the most expensive of course is the technology but that's what makes this mask unique and obvious and saying basically wow look how it works okay so possible claim it's a corrective mask it cools but the cooling is not coming from hydrosal sal cool you can use hydrosal sal cool as well but here the cooling is coming just from the evaporation of the water so it's providing immediate relief of stress and also sensitive skin uh, the botanical the resveratrol facial mask will reduce redness uh, because of the properties of salsphere resveratrol irritation and also discomfort it's beneficial for all types uh, of skin that experiencing either sensitivity, redness, inflammation, uh, blemish, uh, and so on. So summary, okay, uh, we hit the time. Um, uh, now you are familiar with four different product concepts. All the four contains Sunsphere Resveritrol, but each one of them contains another technology as well. So we get you two for the uh, one. So the first one we show you a cream anti-aging cleanser that contains Salsphere Resveritrol and Salsphere Aqua Skin. I'm repeating on this so to summarize it and enable you if you want to go back to the website and request a sample of this product. Uh, and if you get confused uh, which one because maybe there are different versions and if you're that confused always take the version with the highest number. Okay, there may be 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 10. Take the 0, 10. Uh, because this is probably the most recently developed and probably natural version. But you can look at the inky and decide by yourself it's natural or no. If you want to consult, you know how to connect and consult. Uh, number two product was the anti-blemish, anti-aging lotion. This was combining Salsphere Clear Skin with the resveritrol, then the toning and refreshing serum that contain hydrosal sal cool. This is the real cooling. Uh, and then the anti-aging mask that contains the salsphere resveritrol with sal color effects, white to pink. Well, last time, if you remember, I showed you sal color, not FX. Sal color are just color beads, stupid beads. They don't do much just beautiful beads. And when you rub them, they break and disappear. This one are breaking and changing the color. So they leave a color different from the original color on the skin.